In this edition of AMD Support Unprocessed, we will be looking at how to replace your old CPU with a new CPU. We will be looking at the seven steps to successfully achieving this task. In step one, we will be looking at how to prepare your working environment such that these operations can be performed in a safe and efficient manner. We will then look at how to remove the heatsink from the old processor, discover the best methods of cleaning the CPU, and then demonstrate how to remove the old CPU from its socket. In step five, we will look at how to align and insert the new CPU correctly into the socket and apply the new thermal paste. And finally, we will demonstrate how to fit the new heatsink. So Tim, what sorts of things would you be looking at in setting up your environment? So before you start, just to make sure that your system's on a stable and secure bench or table and you've got access all around it to get inside and, and look at the internals. And also just to make sure that it's disconnected from the mains power and all switched off. And then you need to make sure that you're properly grounded or, or earthed as it were, just to make sure that there's no static electricity from you going to the system and damaging any components. So one way of doing this would be to use one of the anti-static wrist straps and you can buy the disposable paper ones these days for very cheap from say a component retailer or one of the online stores. And what sorts of problems would happen if you didn't ground yourself? So the, the static electricity that's, that's in your body could discharge into some of the components in the system and damage them and you wouldn't even see the damage. You would just know that your system isn't working properly, it's, it's unstable. So now we need to remove the heatsink from the motherboard. So first of all we just need to disconnect the heatsink fan power cable. That just connects to the motherboard and we just pull him off gently. And then to remove the heatsink itself, on the side of the heatsink there's a small lever that you can rotate backwards in like a, a cam action and this would release the heatsink pressure from the motherboard. And now you just need to make sure that the, the mounting brackets on the heatsink are disconnected from the mounting brackets on the motherboard. And then we would say that maybe put your hand on top of the heatsink and give it a small twist a couple of times. This helps to break the, the seal between the top of the CPU and the bottom of the heatsink and then just lift the heatsink straight up vertically out of the system. We're now going to need to clean the, the old CPU up. So we would say to leave the CPU in its socket, this keeps him secure, and you just need to, to wipe the grease up using like a mopping action with a, a paper towel or some tissue paper. In this step here, we just need to look at the, the motherboard and the socket and you can see on the side of the CPU socket, there's a small lever. And so we just need to rotate that lever from horizontal to vertical, and then hold the CPU by the edges and lift him up, making sure that we don't, don't touch or bend any pins when we lift him out. And then what we would say is to put the old CPU into the packaging that came with your new CPU, and this would keep him safe and secure. As you can see, the, the socket and the CPU are both square, so we need to make sure that the corners line up correctly. And to make this a bit easier, we've made one of the corners on the CPU marked with gold, a little gold triangle, and one of the corners on the motherboard should also be marked either in, in a little gold triangle or maybe a white triangle in the same corner. So when you line up the CPU with the socket, you just need to make sure that both the gold and the white corners are, are together and then you should just gently lower him into the socket. If he doesn't go in the socket properly, take him out and just have a look, see if there's any bent or broken pins or if there's any debris or anything in the way of the socket. So obviously this is a delicate operation and we need to be careful. In yeah, we we'll always need to handle the CPUs delicately and hold them by their very edges. If you're using a heatsink that came from AMD, it should already have thermal paste applied to the bottom of it already. So you just need to make sure that you've removed the protective cover. It's either a plastic cap or a small piece of plastic film that you can just pull away. If you're going to reuse your old heatsink, then first you need to clean off the old thermal grease in the same sort of style that you cleaned the top of the CPU previously. Just use a paper towel and a mopping motion just to clean up the old CPU heatsink. The new thermal paste normally comes in like a small syringe and you just need to squeeze out three small grains of rice size amounts 
onto the middle of the, the new CPU. So if you put too much or too little on the processor, what can happen is that the CPU can start to overheat and this can cause your system to crash or your applications to freeze and just general stability issues under, under your operating system. So this is pretty important that we get the amount right. That's right, you don't want too much or too little. Again, this is a, a reversal really of removing the heatsink. So you place the heatsink over the CPU, you make sure that the clips are aligned of the heatsink to the motherboard mounts, and then you rotate the cam lever back. However, sometimes this can be quite strong. You may need to put quite a bit of force behind the lever to make it properly secure and latch down. And once that's done, you just need to reconnect the heatsink fan power cable back to the motherboard. So I hope you have found this video helpful on how to replace your old CPU with a new one. Remember that it is always important to ground yourself before working on any of the components inside your computer. Please also remember to properly clean the surface of the CPU and heatsink before applying any of the new thermal paste. And ensure that you align the CPU chip with the motherboard socket to avoid damaging any of the pins. Enjoy your computing experience with your new processor.